Welcome everybody to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. That's right, today as you can see we're traveling down memory lane with a little bit of prison food. Starting with the good old fashioned Warden Burger. Designed specifically for punishment upon inmates. Only a true punisher can make a meal like this. How bad is it? Who knows? The warden's gonna taste it for us. Not to mention the news crew. Oh, man. Wait till you see this puppy. And a few other clips. Some of them are old. Some of them are newer. It don't matter, man. Prison and jail food ain't changed at all. But if this is what you're into, all things lock up and crime related, then this is absolutely where you need to be. Hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for your host one time, and check out my playlist with many more videos for you to start watching today. Yes, I would like a uh, number one warden burger, please. A local sheriff is catching heat on social media for using food as punishment. That right there <laughs> is the warden burger. Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones serves it to inmates in isolation. Our Courtney King sat down with the sheriff today about why he uses it. But Courtney, my question is, would he eat the burger? <laughs> Yeah, you will. Rob, that was my first question for him. So not only did he say he would, he did. And we have it all on camera. We're going to show you that in just a few minutes or in a moment, actually. The sheriff tells us that he's not the only one that does this and that detention centers all over the country do this. And it is important to note that the burger is not made to be bad. We do have the recipe for it, and we'll put it on our website for you. It's basically a turkey burger. The sheriff says that what's punishment about it is that the inmate in isolation gets that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day until they leave isolation and like you said he has caught a lot of flack on social media about this one person even calling him a disgusting human the state department of corrections is <laughs> so this right here is the punisher god that hat is terrifying and my tea ain't as white as his that's the first he uses that special prison bleach the State Department of Corrections is not my boss, so I basically don't give two what they think. On Wednesday, we sat down with Butler County Sheriff Bobby? Richard Jones and watched him eat this. Yeah, you eat it's it. no ordinary burger. It's what the sheriff calls a warden burger. So you have zero complaints about the warden burger? Me personally? No, I, I would eat this. Hell, I'm eating it now. The sheriff tells us he's been serving it to inmates in isolation for all three meals for the last several years. This is jail. You don't get to choose. Your mommy and your dad and your aunt Lily doesn't get to make your Lily. meals. Uh, I'm your aunt. I'm Look, that's str you're disrespecting me now, Chief, okay? Don't f talk about Lily. And you ain't my auntie. This is making me sick. Dad and your aunt Lily doesn't get to make your meals uh, i'm your aunt i'm your grandpa i'm the one that gets your meal prepared and make sure it gets done the sheriff says inmates get put in isolation for things like fighting and the burger is an added punishment if you get in trouble and you go to an isolation cell it's no different than your regular cell and that's what you get three times a day and you get all the water you can drink it's very nutritious all the water you can drink what am i a white mouth mule <laughs> i don't want none of that nasty recycled tap water from the toilet I flushed two days ago. Not gonna lie though, when you're locked up and thirsty and you hit that sink, tastes like some Dasani. But this dude has the nerve to say you're sitting in a cell, you've got plenty of nutritional Wardenburger food, and all the water you can guzzle down. Wow. It's good for you. It has lots of fiber in it. Fiber is good for you, right? This Sheriff Jones says the dietitian us. approved the burger and it's not made to taste bad. It's got many ingredients. It's made with ground turkey, potatoes, carrots. Um, it's got celery. It's got flour. He says the punishment is in not having variety. Jones says inmates can be in isolation for up to 10 days at a time, which means they could eat up to 30 warden burgers. <laughs> Would you ever eat it for three meals a day? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm easy to please on what I eat. Bald face freaking liar, man. This dude is straight bald face lying everywhere, and I know it's not bald face. Or is it? Or is it bald? I don't care. He would not eat this three times a day. I mean, of course, if you had to, you would, but he's just co-signing to something that he loves. He's saving pennies on those meals, and those pennies add up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I come from a generation that you eat whatever's in front of you. He says he hopes the burger will make inmates think twice about acting out while in the Butler County Jail. 
Ha- has it worked? Have you ever had someone in isolation be like, I'm never getting in trouble because I don't want that uh, burger we, ever again? Yeah, we've had people that leave. They always tell me they never want to eat that burger again. And this may be just a little piece that keeps you out of trouble, keeps you from hurting other people. And that's my goal here. And, you know, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Uh, the burger didn't look that bad. It looked like a crusty Crab Jank just a bit. That's the vibe I got from it. But I'm sure it's absolutely awful. And to have it three times a day, I ain't going to lie, it's going to keep my ass out of trouble. So the sheriff tells us that he's never been fined or ordered to stop using the burger despite some, despite some state officials saying that he's violating some policies. And guys, I was not able to try the burger because I'm gluten intolerant, but we oh. have a burger for you guys that the sheriff gave us. You know, because we're doing our job, we need to test the product, let our viewers know what's going on. So Rob, <laughs> I think you're Steve, if, if you guys could taste yeah, test we're, we're that and let us know what it tastes like. We cut it yeah, we're both gluten uh, intolerant as well, ma'am. So we're going to send it back to you. Yeah, but just like you said, it does smell like a pizza. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, it smells like a pizza. Oh, hell no, man. Too bad you have to go he to jail like to eat this. It's pretty good. Yeah, we thank the sheriff for okay. uh, sending one back. It's not bad. Like, I don't, I don't think this is punishment. Would I want to eat it every day? Probably not. Three meals a day? I'm a former vegetarian, so I'm used to stuff like this. But it, actually, it's not bad. Yeah, it really totally. Is. I ain't trusting nobody's taste buds that used to be a vegan. No disrespect to the veganals. Look at Stacy over here, gluten-free, chilling. It was a very, very interesting story, Courtney. And I'm glad you got the sheriff's perspective. Oh, I ain't got nothing else to talk about. Social media, it just kind of touches the surface, right? Right. And sorry, Mom, for talking with my mouth full. I know. Tell me about it. Okay, so weather-wise, the human weather is returning. Yes, it is. Did he just say the human weather's returning? What the fuck does that mean? Now, this clip is 11 months old, uh, but this is typically what inmates end up doing if you want to decide to pump them a damn warden burger. They're going to take things into their own hands. Inmates at the Fulton County Jail are persuading or more likely paying officers and other staff members uh, to purchase restaurant meals and bring the food to the floors at the That's jail. That's right. Yes, that violates policy. And we have video of steak dinners that the inmates clearly <laughs> enjoy. Fox News Morris Diggs <laughs> continues his look at misconduct inside the facility with staffers being the culprits. He said they're eating steak dinners, which you could obviously tell that they're enjoying. That's right, man. There ain't no warden burgers jumping off in this jail. They want apple bees and chilies. So up at the security desk here at the jail, the screeners have to watch not just what the public may try to bring in, but also their fellow deputies and all of the other employees. Oh, man. This guy here. When a typical jail menu gets to be mundane, some inmates have options. They can stir the menu by having an officer or other staffer go get them restaurant fare. Authorities Ooh. are looking at this video showing Fulton inmates preparing to consume. Hold on, man. Dude's got a bib on. Got to, though, with that steak, asparagus, and mac and cheese. Don't want to get no stains on that steak gear. Got a visitation this weekend. And, you know, a lot of people on the streets, when you meet someone new, you get perfume and stuff. Well, inmates, they just rub the steak on them. That lets everybody know that they got money. <laughs> Mates preparing to consume a restaurant meal smuggled into the jail. <laughs> what prisoners can persuade or pay staff to provide mm -hmm. has expanded. Whoever That's right. That might be is now cooperating with the criminal base to bring in everything from cell phone cigarettes and now even steak dinners. Steak a dinners, baby. I love the it. Conduct of jail personnel after video surfaced of one female officer shown in a compromising intimate exchange with an inmate whose hand is visible in one sequence, a different clip. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, that inmate's hands look pretty soft. <laughs> <laughs> She's being razzle-dazzled right now. She will never get treated like this by her old man. <laughs> A different clip shows Kawana Jenkins sitting on the inmate's lap. It's saying, oh, give no. them to me, give them to me. As said, D.O. Jenkins gave inmate a set of Cartier glasses while licking and kissing on his right cheek facial hair. Oh, according to Fulton County Court documents. 
Sheriff Pat Labatt is making sure the terminated officer is prosecuted for violation of oath of office and other charges. As for steak dinners getting to the floors, <laughs> he wrote, the delivery of outside food to inmates at the Fulton County Jail is strictly prohibited. Any employee who violates protocol and or allows a breach in security is disciplined, according to department policy. The problem for jail commanders is the amount of money some inmates have available to dole out for favors. Bonta, Jay. So how much money are we talking about? Let's take a cell phone, for example. You get a prisoner one of these, that's $2,000, perhaps even a little bit more. Sources are telling me that there are several individuals here who have either broken the policy or broken the law. Inmates at the Missoula County Detention Center may not have that much to look forward to throughout the day, but one thing they can get excited for is a good meal, thanks to the jail's kitchen and its staff. Mm. Connor McCauley takes us behind the scenes of how this cell block cuisine is prepared. Bobby's going to take us behind the scenes to show us how cell block cuisine is prepared. Prison food. Ugh. It's a phrase usually used to describe the worst food possible. Oh, it looks like a At the Missoula jail, this captive cuisine has a completely different response. So we get feedback from people who eat normal food every day. So an officer eats that every day, and, and uh, sometimes, you know, an inmate will leave, and there'll be an extra tray, and they'll eat it, and they'll say, you know, that was great or something. So that, that feels pretty good. <laughs> Those meat loafs that they showed in the beginning is meat rocks. All right, it was the worst meal in lockup. Look like something that could be worth the taste, but I promise you, man, it ain't. Meat rock is disgusting. They often ask for seconds of their entree. So what drives the staff to turn out food that tastes good and uses fresh ingredients? It's a split between cost and quality. Right. Um, when I started here, I was told uh, the biggest problems in prisons are food related and medical related. So if we can cut out the food and the medical, then we try to keep our officers safe and everybody as pleased as possible. You know, they're, everybody's a human being, so they deserve to be treated like a human being. But treating everyone with dignity is not without its cost. That's where smart purchasing and storage enters the picture. They're running about $4 a meal. And they've got about, I think, 60 inmates that facility holds. We're doing about a buck 20. Um, Hold on, man. Hold the hell on. I'm not good with math. But he said they're about $4 a meal, $4 plates for the inmates, and they have about 60 inmates in the facility. Six. That's like a high school classroom. To $1.15 per meal, and our quality is just far and beyond what they can produce up there. Buying in bulk gives us the power to save money so in turn we can buy other fresh products so where you know instead of a frozen vegetable at a time we're able to buy frozen vegetables in bulk but also buy fresh salad also on the menu for certain inmates is a critical skill set that will help when they are back on the outside we have 12 to 15 inmates in the morning and i'd say maybe one of those maybe one to three at any given time has ever had any kind of restaurant experience that new experience the inmates gain can keep them out of jail and give them a chance at a career. Man, they really show the bright side of all these dark angles, don't they? Look, I was in that kitchen for about a week before I got fired for stealing coffee and jalapenos. Their first mistake was allowing me to get in there to begin with. I wasn't supposed to be. I had a guy just the other day call me on the telephone and... Uh... He's in pre-release, and he, he thanked me for you know everything I taught him. I, I gave him, he said I gave him a skill, and he's actually working in a restaurant right now. The uh, jail kitchen also buys some of its fast food products in bulk to save money. They're currently in possession of two pallets of McDonald's chicken nuggets, and they bought food in the past in bulk from Wendy's and Taco Bell. Well, I mean, if they're feeding McNuggies to inmates and certain things from Taco Bell, I think that should uh, tell you all something. I'm not telling y'all. I'll let yourself tell you. Hopefully y'all enjoyed today's episode. Let me know in the comment section what you think. And, and also, you know, if you've been locked up, let me know what was your favorite and worst meal.